Hi there, I'm Crystal Allen coming to you from the KCLV studios in Las Vegas City Hall. You know, the tragedy on the UNLV campus really hit home for a lot of us, especially those who attended UNLV. I had the opportunity to sit down with Dina Babsky. She's a City of Las Vegas employee and also a UNLV graduate. She's also a former student and colleague of Dr. Cha Chan Jang, one of the university professors who lost his life, affectionately known as Jerry. Here's what she shared with us. I actually screamed. Uh, my son came down to check on me. A gut-wrenching reality. I was shocked and I just was speechless and I started crying. It's a reality still hard for Dina Babsky to accept. Her former professor, 64-year-old Dr. Cha Jan Jang was one of three faculty members killed in the UNLV shooting. 39-year-old Patricia Navarez Velez, a mother of four, and 69-year-old Naoko Takumaru, a 20-year faculty member at UNLV, also lost their lives. Police say the shooter was targeting faculty. This was our final uh, semester project. Babsky is the deputy director of urban and economic development for the city of Las Vegas. She showed us some of the projects, reports, and notes she kept from Chang's class. It's a snapshot in time. A look back at her days as a graduate business student working part-time at the Lee Business School. Her offices were across the hall from each other. Babsky saw Chang nearly every day. She says they had a lot in common. Both shared degrees from Texas A&M. Both played the piano and both were immigrants. We didn't have a lot, you know, so it took a lot more to get to where we ended up. And so we talked about that. The commitment to studying. I wanted to make him proud. They shared another important bond. Both were proud parents. He talked a lot about his family, his children. He was very proud of them. His wife, he was, you know, I, my heart goes out to all of them. Uh, oh, I was just thinking about it. As Babsky remembers a life loss, she also reflects on the life Chang lived. She remembers the time he left town and made a special request. He asked me to keep his betta fish in my office. Uh, so he brought over the, the, the tank uh, along with some food, fish food, and I, I, I warned him. I said, Dr. Chang, I have murdered a few betta fish in my life. Not intentionally, but I'm just letting you know. As for the plight of the fish? I didn't kill the fish, uh, which was great. Another fond memory, Chang and cell phones. He didn't have a cell phone. Yeah, it was 2015 and he did not have a cell phone. <clears throat> and I couldn't understand why. So you, you teach data communications, you teach about the networks that support the infrastructure. And uh, I think he probably already knew so much about how the data is gonna be stored and you know, for on all of us that he just refused to have one. Babsky showed us a report where she humorously noted Ching's lack of affection for cell phones. Today we have a second thought about how our lives would be without a cell phone. It's almost impossible to imagine, except from you, Dr. Chang. <laughs> Holding on to memories of better days. My heart is with NLV. Go Rebels. Uh, we will get through it. And we really appreciate Dina for sharing her story and also her memories of Dr. Chang. If you or someone you know might need a little support right now, we have some resources that we would like to share. The first being the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center. You can actually scan this QR code and also the number there at the bottom of your screen to find out more information about all the services that it offers. And also it started a fund to support the families that have been impacted by this tragedy. Also, another site we wanna tell you about, UNLV Strong. You can actually scan this QR code to find out more information about that. The website also at the bottom of your screen. The university has done a tremendous job of compiling a lot of resources for people that might need it at this time. Definitely our hearts, our thoughts, and prayers go out to the UNLV family and extended community. Reporting from the KCLV studios, I'm Crystal Allen.